So hearing loss can sound differently to different different people. So um, two people can have the exact same hearing loss and depending on the integrity of their nerve, they can process sound very differently. So um, kind of the importance of getting early detection um, on your hearing test, um, if you have hearing loss, detecting it early, is um, you get what's called auditory deprivation. If you have a system that's that's been damaged for a long period of time, and so even with traditional amplification, it becomes more and more like a busted speaker. Um, so if if you go with untreated hearing loss for long periods of time, um, your prognosis with hearing devices is is still going to be hard. Um, so your your word understanding is going to be very difficult. So two people have the same hearing loss on paper, but then their word understanding is very different. So the way that they process sound is very different. And so um, so how they perform uh, with amplification really depends on really early detection of it. Um, if It doesn't mean that if you haven't worn hearing devices and you've had hearing loss for a long time, you, you have a nerve that's completely shot, but that is something that we definitely like to test. And so, um, how it might sound to different people is very different, but some things that um, you might see is ringing in your ears. So you'll have that, that loud ringing in one or both of your ears that usually matches the pitch of um, where your hearing loss is the most severe. Um, and then also too, it just may sound muffled. Things may, you may hear that people are talking something common that I hear all the time is, well, I can hear fine. Um, they're just mumbling. So it may seem like someone's mumbling, um, but everyone is mumbling, which is probably not the case. Um, some people may mumble, but not not everyone you're in contact with. Um, if, if you're a male, women's voices may seem really hard for you to understand just because women's voices tend to be higher in pitch. And like we talked about earlier, those higher pitches are, tend to be the ones that um, are damaged first. And so that understanding goes away. And so you may say, you know, I hear just fine, but I'm not understanding what's being said. Things aren't clear. Um, little kids may be hard for you to understand. You may really struggle in noisy situations. You may say, you know, someone's sitting right in front of me and they're talking, I hear them fine. But when we go to a restaurant, you forget it. I can't hear anything. So that might be kind of what it looks like, um, just kind of broadly um, for people, um, just because it's, like I said, it's different. Different people have different lifestyles, and so it, it's going to look different for everyone. Um, and maybe if you're not as active and you're not out at restaurants all the time, maybe you have your TV turned up really loud and it's still not clear. Um, so really clarity is kind of a big one um, for people who have hearing loss, but overall just not hearing or not understanding what their loved ones or what their friends are saying.